What's up guys, we're back again with a just a video that I want to express on once again the things that EA needs to fix in Madden. If you look at this play right here, the guy throws it and my guy jumps right in front of him and he doesn't even jump but he gets the touchdown catch animation. This is just one thing that allows bums to stay in games when they're throwing into triple coverage. And what happens is that they're allowed to stay in the game. Uh, even though this game was out of reach, the point is my guy is there, he strafes, jumps, but his guy somehow warps to the catch. That's just, they need to fix that for one. Next thing is if you take a look at this, this guy kept throwing an out route. So what I did is I, you know, put a hard flat on the field and then my guy, once again, here he doesn't animate. I get more non-animations than I do anything else. I can have my guys in the perfect position um, to, to be in a spot to intercept the ball and I put them there or even if I'm usering and they get no animation uh, as you see right here we you know we don't get anything uh, as well here's another example you know a touchdown I'm trying to avoid being tackled but you see right there I get a little bump from 17 which allows him to make the shoestring tackle why is he even in the picture just get out of the way let me score the touchdown and, and carry on but no you have to have something broken to where he's going to be right there, knock me for a little bit, and uh, force me not to score a touchdown. There's no reason he should be in the picture. Uh, what if that was the last play of the half or the last play of the game? I would have lost um, if that's the case. So that just get out the way. There's no point in him being there. And besides the block sheds that are ridiculous this year, which you need to look at is watch 86. He should block that guy right in front of him. But look, he lets him come straight through untouched I mean why is that the case I mean the whole point is 86 should get off that block go to his next level and ha that should be a great great run down the sideline uh, with one-on-one -on -one with the safety but you know 86 doesn't make his proper blocking um, this is besides the block shit the block sheds are ridiculous this year as everyone know uh, really hard to run the ball against block sheds now to the real issue look at this play I'm using it the entire time I am running his route. You clearly see me hit triangle and my guy puts his hands up instead of trying to intercept the ball. What is up with that? That happens so many times and allows bums to just throw right at my user and they do not try and intercept it. I mean, you clearly see the play ball highlight. He clearly puts his hands up. So he clearly got the uh, response to play ball, but I don't know the reason for just putting his hands up and, and not trying to intercept it, knock it down, do something. So, I mean, this clearly needs to get fixed. You'll see in the other clips where I'm trying to use her here that I'm going to try and play that slant, but my guy stops right there and doesn't continue on his path. So, it allows him to complete the slant when I should have picked that off. So, I don't know what they did to play um, user if they dumbed it down to allow people to stay in the game where they don't animate. You see here, I'm jumping the screen, and my guy keeps running. I hit X for conservative tackle. You see, it allows him to get a great big game where it should have been a tackle in the backfield. And this is just the things that, like I said, it, it just lets bums stay in the game and uh, and be able to have like some kind of comeback. This is the worst thing about uh, Madden as well is that, boom, drop ball for wide open for an interception. I mean, he's wide open. That's Dallas Clark, the best tight end for catching traffic, catching, route running. Uh, you can get in the game, but you see, it, it's just... It's not even under pressure or anything. It's just a clear drop pass and he intercepts it. And it's ridiculous because, I mean, he should have had the pass. I don't know why this happens. Uh, you're going to see it's in a bunch of clips coming up as well. You see we have Alshon Jeff Jeffrey wide open in the flats. Just straight up drops the ball. I mean, you can't get better players, um, receivers, um, or anything with, with these drop passes, it's, it's the correct read. The only other place I could have went with the ball was the slant. But you see this this drag was clearly wide open uh, for a completion. Should be running up the sideline. I mean, just EA needs to fix the game. Here it is, throwing to the flats to Derrick Henry. You see, once again, boom, drop. He could have picked six that, but I mean, come on. But once again, you see time and time and time again, it's just drops. It's, it's uncalled for. I've dropped more passes. Um, either, either catching traffic with quote unquote ball physics or um, wide open passes like this in Madden 17 more than I've dropped any passes 
from all the Maddens I've ever played. And I've been playing Madden since Madden 2000, um, so that's saying a lot. Uh, they need to fix that issue with it. Um, this video doesn't even include the, the terrible block sheds that you see in Madden 17 or all the, the catch tackle crap that uh, that happens this year. It needs to be fixed, needs to be toned to where it's more realistic. It, it, anytime you get uh, catch the ball and touch, more than likely you're going to drop the ball. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope fix this uh, game. I love Madden. I'm not saying anything that I won't play it or anything, but I just would like some of these issues fixed. But if you want the best content anywhere online in Madden, head on over to the link to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll get the best tips every week, the best content you're going to find anywhere. I put out the most content and the best content in Madden 17. So if you'd like to become a patron, head on over to the link and become a patron today.